transmission fluid and filter on a 2011 Dodge Charger. It's a 3.6 um, flex fuel motor. VVT, whatever. V6, anyway. Um, so, transmission fluid. Drop the pan off. Now, this one does not have any bolt holes. AutoZone has the 13 hole pan. That's the only filter that they offer. So, if you want the, the one for this transmission, um, then you have to go to O'Reilly's or Napa. Now, to take the pan off, it is a T30. Where is it? There we go. T30 Torx bit, and it just has clamps that go around. There's six of them go around the pan. Um, the filter looks like this right here. There's an O-ring that goes around the top right inside that groove. So make sure that you get the O-ring. Here's the O-ring that goes with it. O-ring goes in there. Um, make sure that you get the O-ring. Uh, mine was already on the new filter, so make sure that one's on there. Um, when you put it up in, it just presses into the hole. This kit was from Napa because they had it in stock. It's the 1-8579 filter kit. Comes with the gasket. So this is the new gasket. As you can see it's thick and it sits down over the lip so it's real easy to install. The magnet in the pan, I already wiped the pan out. The pan had a little bit of metal dust in it. We're at uh, 110,000 miles on the charger, so uh, I believe it requires 100. It re it's required at 120, but I figured I'd go ahead and do it. But the magnet lifts out. Clean the magnet off before reinstalling. Go underneath. Okay, these are the clamps that hold the pan on. Like I said, it's a T30, and they just hook over the edge. There's six of them right there. And they go in the corners. This is a new filter installed. Um, there's one on each corner and then two in the middle. So that's for the six bolts. Uh, what I did was I put a pan underneath it, loosened the back two by the cross member, the middle two, and then the front two. And it just let it hang at an angle and start draining. So it drained really well. Made very little mess whatsoever because uh, it's a pretty small pan so easy stuff very little uh, very little mess like I said there's the transmission number this is the Mercedes transmission I believe is what they said at the store and the old filter said Germany on it so um, real easy stuff automatic transmission okay just using one of the standard green drip pans like that um, was able to catch every bit of fluid. Didn't have, didn't spill, spill a drop. So, go ahead and, and uh, get it reinstalled, and then we'll go from there. And there's the fan, the uh, pan fully installed. Um, basically, these bolts with those mounts, since they clamp on, they just kind of bottom out. Um, real easy stuff. Gasket is installed all the way around. I have not put fluid in it yet. Uh, I'm just doing a shot of it. So if your pan looks like that, then you have the uh, Mercedes transmission. So, uh, like I said, AutoZone or not? Yeah, AutoZone does not carry the gasket and filter. You have to go to O'Reilly's or Napa. Now Napa's was about twenty dollars cheaper. I got it for about nineteen dollars and some change at Napa. O'Reilly's wanted like thirty-eight dollars for theirs, and they had to order it in. So. Napa was the way to go. Uh, I did an oil change on it too, so I did take off the lower pan, or the cover, the plastic cover, just so I could do the oil change on it. Um, and then I put it on ramps. Now, if you haven't put your charger on ramps before, it doesn't really clear, so I had to put a 2x4 leading up to it just to bring it up high enough to so I wouldn't scrape the front end when I hit the ramps. So, another easy tip. Okay, never had this one out before. But I was able to twist it out by hand, so that's the cap right there, the transmission fluid. Real easy. Um, you have to take the engine cover off to get to it, but it says for dealer use only, whatever. Um, changing my own fluid so I don't have to pay like hundreds of dollars. So only drained three quarts out of it. So I'm going to check, I think in the computer it said that it required like five, just over five quarts for just a service. Um, eight quarts is something for the full 
flush. So um, I'm going to put at least four quarts back in. I'm going to check the manual real quick just to make sure. All right. Well, I only drained three quarts out of the transmission. So pulled the filter out. Obviously, the filter had a little bit of fluid in it. So I went ahead and refilled it through the dipstick tube, or through the tube, the fill tube, not a dipstick tube, because there's no dipstick. Um, I put three and a half in there, a little over three and a half. So I don't know if it was low. Um, it's about 50 bucks, I guess, to take it to the dealership and have them check it for you. So anyway, I'm going to put that in there. I didn't have any issues with it before, but I'm going to put that in there and see how it runs. Should be good, but at least it does have fresh fluid and a fresh filter and I'll keep that extra partial quart just in case so anyway that's it I'm gonna get it buttoned up and fire it up and take it for a test drive I think that's it all right thanks for watching well it's a beautiful day in northern Illinois taking the car for a little test drive sorry just kind of yelled there but uh, it seems to be shifting very well I'm gonna say this was probably one of the easiest transmission fluid changes I've ever done just because there's only six bolts um, the pan's small so it doesn't make a big mess everywhere and you know, I think that's about it trans temp right now is showing us 109 degrees so we're just a couple miles down the road but everything's shifting real good and uh, everything seems to be fine so uh, I'm gonna go through the gears um, probably manually shift it here just in a second uh, with the little manual shifter but ran really good it came uh, put it through the gears just shifted through all the gears um, that's a cool little truck it's like a 58 Chevy 4x4 all right uh, anyway shifted through all the gears and uh, once it, it built pressure like within the first couple of seconds man it quieted down sounded really good uh, like I said it shifts really nice so I don't think there was any issues before I hope I don't know where those extra if it was supposed to take uh, 5.3 quarts or whatever the heck the computer said um, but I don't, like I said I only drained out three so I put three and a half a little over three and a half back in it and about three and two thirds and uh, seems to be fine so hopefully it wasn't leaking I mean it didn't leak obviously I don't know where that extra fluid went if it did go someplace but anyway like I said running good um, I'm gonna go through the gears and stuff like that um, but anyway so that's the final video um, anyway once again thanks for watching thanks for uh, liking my videos the Dodge Charger videos are doing well everyone seems to like them <laughs> rolling into Mount Morris Illinois a little tiny town anyway um, that's it so thanks for watching and I will uh, see y'all later